good Tuesday morning to y'all. It's uh, the day after Labor Day. I'm sure you were enamored if you saw our last video and how exciting that was. But today is a new set of things to accomplish. Today I'm working on my list of stuff to do. On there is I have to get the electrical permit. Uh, install the meter socket and breaker panel, get that approved, hopefully ASAP, so I can uh, have the power company come hook that up. So also on the agenda today, the well guys are coming to dig the well. That's exciting. And I have lots more paperwork to fill out for the power company. It's endless. It's endless amount of paperwork everybody needs. I seriously am questioning whether I should have just gone off grid and did a 12 volt system or something like that. But anyways, too late. I am already committed. So uh, paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. And I have to get some prints today. Large prints, like 11 by 17 of the house layout. So my friend Charlie and I can uh, go over, he's an electrician, so we can go over uh, where we're going to put lights and switches and plugs and all of that. We're going to mark it up. So I'm enjoying a turkey sandwich and a glass of almond milk, and I'm going to get this day rolling. So here we go. Hey y'all, Matt here. I feel like I may be overwhelming some of my viewers lately with excitement. I mean, after all, my last video, we were soaking down sand. So if you can't handle this kind of excitement, I completely understand if you don't watch these videos. It is not for everybody. It's sort of like extreme sports. Some people can't watch it, and I get that. But today, we have well drillers here. So I'm going to flip this around, show you what we got. Today, we have the Denton boys well drilling, Denton and Sons well drilling. They got these big, beautiful red trucks. They look expensive, but they are digging down my well. Sorry for all the noise, but these trucks are loud. That thing goes way up into the trees. Drilling that thing down. Hopefully, they don't have to go super deep. I know the deeper you go, the more expensive it is. So we're pretty close to the river, so I can't imagine it's that deep. It's not a not like a big hill down to the river either so we will see stay tuned and i'll let you know another quick update here on the amish shed i'll bet this sounds super echoey but i have uh, made some modifications to the amish shed i put some rafters in here so i could hang up my old wood boat this thing is so cool and eventually what I'm hoping is because we have 10 foot ceilings in the pole barn house that I can hang this from the ceiling above the dining room table and put a cool light inside of it to light up our dining room. So that's my idea. I think it's gonna be super cool. I think I have my wife talked into it, we'll see. And I also built a loft back here just to give us a little bit more storage area. It's like eight feet by 12 feet. So a little more room and I was smart enough to build it so I can walk under it standing up without hitting my head. Because if there's something I can hit my head on, I will do it again and again and again. I will never learn. I speak from experience. So. That's the update on that. 